we're back. We're back to you. Hey guys, welcome back. It is I, Mark, and Henry, and we are idiot brothers, and we are playing The Sims Busting Out. Damn it, bunny! <laughs> over my Dang mic. Dang it, bunny! All right, so here we are at Mom's house once again, and now Henry is going to visit me. So how this works is... You push start on player 2's controller when you have a... Me Wait a minute, your memory card's not plugged in, Henry. Go switch out the memory cards. Okay. <laughs> memory cards are switched back. Sorry, I had my uh, free McBoot drive in there. If we didn't, we have a disc of it, but my god, you would have been here for like 10 minutes just waiting for the load screen to happen. So, you know, we figured we wouldn't torture you through that. Yeah, I, uh, I like to network boot my PS2 games because it's much faster. And of course, hard drive boot is even better and more stable most of the time, but... Yeah, but uh, I put the big hard drive that I used to have in my PS2 and our other PS2 since the laser on it's going to crap. Yeah. And uh, I have just like a little 40 gig drive in there, so not a lot of room for games. I mostly just put mm, some on there. The worst part about it is that the one that I use a lot is that's in my room is actually well the slim model so it can't even hard drive boot but and i can't even network boot because i don't have a computer in there that would you know be good for it so i'm on the way nice by the way you have to click it thank you all right so i'm just going to go ahead and study cooking like we said before this episode is going to be a pain because it's going to be a long time also if you want to tell which green of oh, ours sorry. is which uh, I'm in the top to right. right, and Henry is in the bottom left. Yep. You know, I like how on all consoles, if you click the equivalent of square, it always jumps to your character. It doesn't matter what console. Yeah. But the back button is always different. Yeah, that's really annoying. Um, I also much, much prefer the controls of the Xbox and PS2 version to the GameCube version. I gotta say, the GameCube version probably has the worst controls out of all of them. Oh, well, that's and that's just because the GameCube doesn't have as many buttons. Yeah, which isn't a problem since I think L1 actually does absolutely nothing. No, L1 pauses time. No, the what does R1? R1 controls how fast it goes. Normally, those buttons are assigned to the triggers, but the GameCube has this weird thing where, in order to do the select button, where you can go through and edit which things you're doing you have to like pause time and then push the Z button and you have to manage it while time is paused because if you unpause time then it stops and let you letting you manage it it's super annoying basically I mean who knows it's it's a thing it's a feature. I think after I get to this oh or maybe I'll just eat right now oh wow already level 2 charisma How about Oh, you have food in there? Yeah. Dang it! Stop pushing the wall button, Henry. There we go. What? No. Go clean up the food, I guess, because... Wah, wah, wah. Oh, hey, Mr. Cookery. Go I, I, I didn't cook anything. That was Mom's food that she made from before the episode yeah, the started. Alright, I'm going to play piano anyway. I'm going to go use the... Uh, Golden Corral. The what? The uh, porcelain throne. Other generic term for toilet that sounds funny because it sounds vaguely. What? The hack isn't working for player two. It's not? Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because you're still in the dream sequence, technically, on your save file. Well, well, go 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 sleep and see if it fixes it. Yep. Dang it! Stop pushing circle. It's triangle. I know, but I'm so used to like Kingdom Hearts where circle does all the bad stuff. Well, no, in Kingdom Hearts too, you just you just mash triangle and it does everything. Yeah, but press triangle to win. Yeah. It's, it's that that's Kingdom Hearts two for you. That's why uh, Henry doesn't like it. Kingdom Hearts one. 10 out of 10. Great game. Would play again. Kingdom Hearts 2. 5 out of 10. Too much water. No, more like too much triangle button. <laughs> Just too much 
everything. Also, if you see that message that keeps flashing across about a DualShock 2, uh, this game is pretty picky about the controllers you use for some reason. We're using uh, wireless PS2 controllers, so it's bitching at us about not using uh, dual or analog dual DualShock 2s, something like that. Yeah, DualShock 2, I think it's what it's called. Um, these do actually perform pretty well. It's just some games like this one get very picky about the controllers you like to use so that message may flash across the screen a couple times did so i say a couple times i meant a couple times per minute okay not that often but it will flash so be prepared for if that. you have epilepsy you might want to look away uh i don't think it's going to be that bad because it's very infrequent when it does happen it's like maybe once every two three minutes no but you know what will annoy you that message about the DualShock 2, that, that's not as big an issue as Mom. She talks and talks and talks. Let's just say there's a reason I locked her in her own little house back here. There's a very good reason for that. Also, by the way, what's for food, Mr. Cookery? Are you hungry? <laughs> I'm very hungry. Uh, well, I only have three in cooking. Go cook food. I'm, like, gonna die. All right, well, let me get to level four, and then I'll There you go, something. you just did. Okay. Serve breakfast. I'm gonna go feed okay. the fish. Well, no, what way. you should do, Henry, after you feed the fish, is play mom in chess so she gets off the damn chess board and eats. I can't. Yeah, you can. No, dude. Just, just go click join. No, I physically can't. My sim is too sad. Then why are you? Oh. <laughs> I was like, then how are you? I thought you, were... I thought you meant that as in like you're about to fall asleep. No, as in my guy is like. All right, then I will challenge mom to chess. While she talks about Malcolm. Who is, by the way, a rich pig? Uh, he's actually canonically your father in this game. Also, screw you, Mom, I'm eating. <laughs> I like how you both tried to sit at the same exact spot. Right? And my guy's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Until he finally found a spot he could sit. Dude. <laughs> you and that freaking circle button. Of course, I'll, plate. I was doing the same thing, so. Oh, well. Use toilet. Poor Favor. <laughs> My poor guy's trying to sit. Thank you for being slightly neat so you clean up after yourself. No, actually, I told him to do that. Mm. Study more cooking. I'm mean, gonna go use the toilet, and then I'm gonna be playing piano for roughly 10 to 12 weeks. <laughs> until you're maxed out. No, until my happiness, is, or until my uh, entertainment is maxed out. That actually won't take very long. Yeah. That's why I like to do piano as like a supplementary thing. Mostly I like to get anything that involves books, and especially the Especially charisma, because that one is just, for some reason, the slowest one to raise. Yeah. You ever noticed? That and the book-based ones take forever. Not even the book ones. Those ones go faster. Like, especially if you just have the cheapy mirror, you could be there all day and never advance onwards. Oh, so, uh, if you're curious about these menus that we keep popping up, they show the various things up that you need. Up is so, all of your moods. Uh, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to explain that. So like he was saying, if you push the up direction on your D-pad, you get your moods. And those pretty much just tell you what your sim needs. So to start, you have cooking, or food, you need to eat. Uh, shower, you need to be clean. Bed, you need to sleep, which um, there's actually a glitch when you're at mom's house that makes it so you don't, but it looks like that glitch isn't working for Henry. I think it's because I'm doing player two. Remember we never tested it before? Oh yeah. That is, the, with the two heads, that means you have to talk to people. That's comfort, so sit on something. That's the toilet, you have to poop. Um, or or uh, urinate, one of the two. Go away, Mom. Um, uh, this that is one's fun, and that one's how much you like the current room. That's the most arbitrary shit I've ever seen in my life, that room meter. Because, like, the most random stuff can set your guy off. Like, if there's a dirty plate in the room, your like of the house will plummet to nothing. Yeah. It's so, so annoying. If you click the left button, 
or if you click left on your d-pad you'll notice you have all of your skills <coughs> cooking mechanicalism creativity body logic charisma and the fact that i'm unemployed yeah and it'll, I have it'll no tell friends. you your job status and how many friends and uh the money is how much you make at your job yeah if you press down you can see your uh, you can see what you set yourself to be yeah and then if you push the other way you get to see your friends which by the way I have and acquaintances no so I have 25 with mom and 16 with at dang it I really need to don't worry we'll, we'll get to be friends with mom because she and us will be uh, getting very well acquainted you could say I need to sleep again rip in pieces I'm gonna make mom play chess with me um, oh, I guess I'm not actually playing yet, so it won't work. Oh, looks like she uh, intends to maybe join. There we go. Play chess with me, Dang mom. Dang it! Your toilet is all dirty. Clean it. I will, but you know what? You should have to clean it because the fact that I have to sleep, <laughs> and sleep is more time-consuming than clean. <laughs> but I'm playing chess with mom. Yeah, but go clean it after you play chess. But Henry, I'm playing chess. Clean it afterwards. But then I'm going to play chess again. Play chess, so then you play chess. I am playing chess. And also, join Mom again, so then you can make friends with her. No, we'll make friends with Mom by eating. Also, I like the fact that you trapped your mother in back room and then invited over a friend to live with you instead <laughs> right i've barricaded her behind countertops and a folding table which for some reason she's unable to pass oh gotta love sim logic what'd you do to deserve this um you were very you, you keep talking You're you gave birth annoying. to me <laughs> or i mean him <laughs> She's technically your mom, too. No, my mom is in the alternate reality. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, like, not only did I invite a friend to live with me, I invited I invited a friend from an alternate reality to live with me. Yeah, it's sort of weird when you think about it that way. Um, what, what else is going to be weird is when you go to your own save file later to play, you're still going to be at the club, but your skills are going to be maxed out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be at the club, my <laughs> skills are going to be maxed out, and I'm already going to have top of promotion of every job even though I've never been out of my house ain't that great so another cool thing about this single player multiplayer thing is um, when you're like this you and your friend unlock the same stuff together so like if I get a promotion in one job ladder and he gets a promotion in another one we but we get both of them basically both yeah, of us get both of we them. should both do all of the careers I don't know. I think we should split them up so it goes faster. No, but... We each take on half of whatever the house has to offer. Also, I'm already used to it again. That wasn't very long. No, the adjust time's not very long. Now you're taking a bath. You're like mom. You have to take a bath like every three minutes. Well, yeah, because otherwise my guy can't talk to himself in the mirror for some reason. Yeah, right? Isn't that weird? Like, if your sim is at all unhappy about anything, you're, you're just stuck. You can't do anything. And also, I'm surprised that uh, uncleaned beds don't detract from a room, but a puddle does. Fuck. Go play chess. Oh, are you doing all of the chesses right now? You idiot. Play chess. What's your skills like right now? No, don't grab a plate. Play chess. Um, I have like five. A lot more than you. Four cooking, two creative, two logic. Because you don't have to deal with all the stuff that I do. <laughs> In other words, I don't have to sleep. So yeah, you can already see that this. Um, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or an oversight or if it's intentional, but whatever it is, it's pretty dang nice. You know, I'm gonna say this was actually intentional on our part that we planned out that way, so that you would have the sleeping glitch and I wouldn't, just so then we could show off just how it is. Because we totally planned this out, guys. Yeah, we definitely do that level of research into our Let's Plays. Yeah, you know, it's not like if uh, my current Let's Play Rugrats or Ransom, I just 
got mad at the game and just ended my let's play halfway through. Cause you know, that's fun. But seriously though. Tommy is an adorable kid and has a cute voice, but if you don't want to rip his throat out by the end of the night, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Ah, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, no. happy, joy. No, happy, no, happy, joy, joy. Stop. <laughs> The 90s have gone for a reason. No, they aren't. Viva la 90 solution. Please. We don't need that. Viva la 90s lotion. Mom, stop trying to talk to me. I'm playing chess. It's like real life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Henry. <laughs> We're not actually this mean to our mom in real life. No, but... She keeps on trying to talk to you while you're playing chess. That is true. Well, if by chess you mean, uh... Dual, dual monsters. monsters. Then yes. <laughs> if by chess you mean dual monsters or Sonic 06, then you're absolutely right. Or even RuneScape, sometimes. Or poke them on. Oh, that's true, too. That is also true. Oh, another thing is every house you go to has a set of goals you need to accomplish. So let's see, what have we done so far? We Pressed doubled the R1, speed. Uh, we ate, ate food. food. We pissed. <laughs> uh, we did fun stuff. Okay, the last thing we need to do is find a job. And we're not doing that until our skills are at max. Because unlike The Sims 1, which, don't worry, I, I'll, I'll get to that game eventually. And we'll have to do a speedrun of it because of the way that game works. Yeah, because uh, basically, in order to... Um, Unlock everything, you have to go super fast. Well, you don't have to go super fast. I find that you just have to go moderately fast. But if you do the same thing like we're doing here in Sims 1, and you just go to your mom's house and get all your skills, you miss out on the first thing that you could possibly unlock. But in return... And this is really pissing me off. Why does he keep doing that? In return for that, though, you get every other house super fast. And However, I but I think the first unlock is the coolest one. If is that I, the guitar? If, if I think so. I, I think it is. But so it doesn't matter anyway because the cheat codes for Sims One are super easy. No, here's what I would suggest if you if you want to do a Sims One run like that. Here's what I would suggest: play through it two times since you can play through the story mode as many times as you want in that game. Oh yeah, that's true, huh? I mean, technically speaking, you could on the same memory card as well in this game and pick up anything you missed the first time. Or just play through it again, because why not? You have to have a separate memory card for every sim you want to make. At well, least every single player sim you want to make. And then you have to have a separate memory card for every four houses, because you can only have three additional houses per memory card. What he means is free play mode only gives you three houses, basically. Yeah, which is stupid. It is stupid, but I also kind of understand it at the same time. And considering the fact that this game already takes up over a megabyte and a half of data. Yeah, it's pretty big. And considering the fact that m memory cards back then were only like... Eight what? megabytes. Eight megabytes? Yeah, eight megabytes was the standard size. And this took almost two megabytes to save. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, rip you if you... Dang it, lot of Chip! <laughs> what? Stop leaving out your dirty dishes. <laughs> I put away my dish. No, you didn't. That yeah, was I your did. dish. No, it wasn't. And also, what now, my good sir? Your fun is low. No, I need food is what I need. Oh, well, let me... So do I. I'll, I'll cook once I gain this next level. Stop ganging levels with a... Because I cannot gain levels. And also, we have to turn on action. And you have to turn on cartoons. Oh, what, one thing I found out is that depending on what your uh, personality thing is, like mine's Aquarius, so like depending on what yours is, it changes what your sim likes on TV. 
So because I'm Aquarius, I like cartoons. Because I'm a Sagittarius, I like cartoon... Actually, I like all of them, essentially. A friend of mine, I think he was a Virgo, and it made him like horror. He likes horror? I don't remember for sure if that was his personality. Sounds then, pretty but... accurate to real life. Ugh. Yeah, good old Kevin played this with me on GameCube a while back. <clears throat> you know, it's always surprising to see people who are playing Sims Busting Out for the first time. Because of no, just right? how many people are like, Whoa, it's so radical. I know a lot of people who think that this game is really weird because it's a Sims game that actually has goals. Yeah, but all Sims and games have goals. No, most of them are open-ended. What do you mean? I've only played console and the Game Boy versions. The Game Boy ones are terrible. No, they aren't. Yeah, they are. They're really bad. Sims 2 Pets is a great game, and I will not have you diss it. <laughs> no, that game is awful. <laughs> that game is so also, bad. Also, clean the bathroom. No. <laughs> clean it! You're the only one who uses the bathtub. Why do I have to clean up your puddle? Because you have to clean it. No. Also, I... why is your cleanliness not going down as well um because i think it's part of the glitch dang chip look at you mister i don't have to do anything yeah it's nice isn't it it's really nice and i'm over here just slaving away like a mom's real house glitch is op please nerf it makes it really easy if you're doing a speed run you know what would be awesome if we can get it, if we can figure out how to get it working on both memory cards at once, so then we can do it, and then we do a let's play that's like a speed runs. I'm positive that I could smash the current speed run records that they have right now. They're I know pretty this, slow. I know this game inside and out. There's no reason why I couldn't. Yeah, the current like, records are pretty bad. Like, like you want to talk about specialty games? This is like my game. Like, I have played this game so much. My PS2 has loaded the disc for this game so many times. My memory card has had the data for this game on it for so many years. It's freaking impossible. Like, I could definitely speedrun this game. I could probably beat the current world record though because that just the current world record is awful though it took him like five hours or something stupidly long like that and i'm like really dude it took you that long to clear one career path oh and you're talking about the single career path i was talking about the multi craft i was talking about the single career path it took him so long yeah henry if you mop up some of that right now i'll buy a drain so it can just drain it you can go mop it. Then you're not getting a drain. You have to button, and you have to deal with the wet. But I can't deal with the wet. <laughs> then mop just it. Just just mop the damn thing. It's not my idea, buddy. I don't care if it's not your responsibility. I that do. That rich pig Malcolm, I hate him. It's Malcolm's fault. <laughs> he if stole you, our drain. If if you're watching this Malcolm land grab, fuck you. Yeah, Malcolm Miyamoto. What? Malcolm is now part of the Miyamoto family. And also, don't cook food yet, please. Because I'm, like, almost asleep. Because I'm almost asleep. Wait until I'm a little stop. Alright. I'll wait a little longer. So, I think it's time for a story time. So, children. And or adults. I'm not really sure who's watching this right now. But let me tell you a story about my PS2. You see, long time ago, when in I was a galaxy far, far away. When I was in high school, I had a Spanish teacher, and she brought her PS2 to the school to play DVDs on. And then she moved to another town and left it behind. And I messaged her on Facebook and was like, "Hey, teacher, you left your PS2 behind. Are you going to come back for it?" And she's like, nah, Mark, you can keep it. And that's the 100% true story about how I got my own PS2. And ever since then, I got had a PS2, and then we had like a family PS2, which is the one that my mom bought to play Spider-Man on DVD. 
<laughs> yeah! No joke, that's actually how it ended up happening. I mean, she literally bought a PlayStation to, just so she could play Spider-Man on DVD. They got it to be a DVD player, and then they're like, oh hey, it has the added bonus of playing video games. And then we bought a standalone DVD player, like, a week afterwards. Yeah, because Henry and I kept looking at all the special features for Spider-Man, and also we were obsessed with Rugrats Royal Ransom and uh, SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, which hilariously I don't have either for PS2 anymore. Which hilariously, I have both of them for GameCube now. Which are... Oh, argue- by the way, you should cook some food. Arguably, those are the superior ports anyway, so I don't think you have to worry. Um, although I... Did Royal Ransom come out on Xbox? Mm, no. Okay. Those two are both too old. Royal Ransom is older in terms of release date. That's true, because it has that preview for uh, Flying Dutchman on it, huh? That Flying Dutchman hadn't even been, like, completed yet at the time, which is pretty weird to think about. Dang, that must have been, like, a launch title for the PS2 then. I think it was either a launch title or a very early title. Did you know that the only PlayStation <clears throat> 2 g- or a, like children game? I can't think of what the ranking is right now. E? No, the one below E. Uh, a? a? No, 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 A is adult. Um, but you know what I'm referencing, right? EC, I think. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a rank that doesn't even exist anymore. It's something like to give you To give you context as to how old that is. But did you know that the only PlayStation 2 game with that rating is actually, ironically enough, a Dora the Explorer game that is so horrible that, like, it is considered by almost everybody who's ever played it the worst game to grace the PlayStation 2, even though the PlayStation 1 had some amazing... EC games, like, um, you just kind of trailed off there. I was like, lo- like, what? Are you are you hoping I will know? Uh, Blues Clues Big Musical Adventure, speed run. No, parent percentage is not a thing. <laughs> it will be. No. Ha- so, have any of you guys ever played the greatest speed run game of all time? Blues Clues Big. <laughs> It's so dumb, but it's so true. Also, by the way, why is my charisma so slow? Because charisma is by far the slowest thing to level up. That's why I usually save it for last. I'll get about five points here, and then I'll up it as I go. Because you don't need I just do charisma all the way. By the way, what ones do you want? What do you mean? Cruise. Oh, jeesh. I want Mad Scientist. Okay, you can have... I, I want the actor. Oh. Okay. Um, um... I call sports star, I guess, so then I have some money, too. I want the military one. I'll take the fashion model. Or whatever that other one outside of counterculture is. Literally, I don't want to do counterculture. Alright, I'll, 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 I'll do counterculture. As long as I don't have to do counterculture, I'm fine. Yeah, there's some pretty crazy career paths, guys, that you can take in this game. It's actually kind of cool. And I wish Mom would stop trying to talk to me. Dang it, Mom. I keep I keep having to push triangle. Stop talking to me. I have to keep on pressing circle. Also, is it weird to you that our, that like our mom is like really, really dark? No, she's not dark. If you look... That's a cucumber mask. Oh, that's what it is. The icon is so low resolution, I can't even see it. Like, I forgot how fuzzy everything on the PS2 version looks. Because I'm used to playing the Xbox version where everything is crystal clear. So, like, seeing everything be so low res and fuzzy is just weird. Yeah, but you're also playing it on the worst possible cable set. That you had no, no. It's not the worst oh, possible. By the, way, the worst possible here, would be RF. Henry, we're gonna have no money for food if you buy the drain right now. Good. We'll just sell something stupid, like your soul. 
Wow, that was edgy. <laughs> well, hey, what can I say? I am playing Shadow the Hedgehog 100%. <sighs> Yet another insane thing you're doing. Actually, the phone will ring, won't it? Usually yeah. when you run out the of phone money... Will... <gasps> so, can I tell my story? Oh, but you I know the house thing? So, can... so everybody, gather around for a excellent adventure. There we go, we got 700 bucks. So you see how the game gives you money? Any Sometimes, I'll do this, especially... It, it which gives is, you money pretty much any time you're out of money. Which was a big shame that I had to delete it off of my GameCube memory card. No. Did you delete that off of my memory card? I didn't touch your GameCube memory card yet. No, I remember when we were trying to do that. Did you? Oh, yeah, I did. You did delete it? I did. Oh, that was like 16 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, what... I did, because I would <laughs> buy random stuff, and I would just keep on putting it outside and stuff, and just build up an empire of stuff around my house, and I would keep on answering the phone, buy more stuff, answer the phone, buy more stuff, sell the old stuff, get more expensive stuff, buy, until I made over a hundred thousand simoleons, just for stuff for the phone, never worked a day in my life. <laughs> and then I like gold plated the house and everything. Oh no, I'm pissing myself. Oh, clean that up. You sick. Oh man. Clean that up, you sicko. I gotta finish eating first. Oh my gosh. Well, it's because you were taking a bath, so I couldn't. I couldn't poop. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah, but you could have gone poop before you ate. But no, I couldn't. You were in the bathroom when I was cooking. Yeah, wait until after I was done. Oh, look, even though I pissed myself, normally that'd make you full red on cleanliness, but. Didn't affect me, lol. By the way, feed the fish. Fuck the fish. They can die. Wow. Okay, fine. Yo, bitch. I will, I'll feed the fish. Even though the fish are ultimately pointless. Also, that's fresh food, you say? Yes. Just made it. Because when I was going to poop, you were sleep. You were about to take a bath, so I was like, crap. Go grab onto a plate of food. I go. Urinate. Oh, and you you guys want to know something else funny? Then go uh, back to sleep. Back when Henry and I were younger and we were playing this game, and Henry was like really young, he would like spam certain actions. So like he would, like, so like he would go to the bathroom <laughs> and he would select the toilet and he'd be like, use flush, clean, flush, flush clean, 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 use, use flush, flush, clean. flush, and he'd do that clean, and fill clean. up his entire action queue with like the same. Re three or four actions on repeat. And it was always fun to do. <laughs> the thing that he's not telling you is just how much fun that is. Oh my gosh. And that would be great too, because then he would realize he forgot to set an alarm clock and he'd have to wake up for work and he already had his queue <laughs> filled up with pointless stuff. So he'd be like, ah! Pushing triangle to try to get rid of it all. <laughs> oh man, that takes me back. You know what else takes me back? So, the very first ever time, or I don't know if this is the first time, but the most memorable time that we had a free play house, it was me and Chip, and we were both playing, and so the thing about this free play house was we had a pool on the side of our house, and we had a diving board on it, oh a high gosh. dive, and the high dive was pointing out into the street. And the thing was, a thief would come by every night take the diving board, come into the house, get caught by the police because we had an alarm in there, a burglar alarm. And, and, then and it, would always, get it would always give us enough money to replace the diving board, like the diving board's value, plus $1,000. So we'd always make $1,000 off the thief stealing our diving board. Every and it would happen like... Night. Well, it wasn't every night. It was like every two nights or so it would happen. And also, that was the time where I was working. <clears throat> I think I was doing the computer career, I think. Oh, yeah, th that's another thing we have to talk about, too, is when you're in free play mode, the careers are completely different from the single player mode. Yeah, which is just a bit weird. It's cool, though, because it means you get a completely different skill set that you have to learn for them. Yeah, but so when we were doing that, though, something that I just still find hilarious was that... So, you know, he was... Well, Chip was uh, being... Who? Mark was being... And... Later on, you unlock a thing that you can build plants with. 
It sounds crazy, I know, but... You, you'll see it when we get you'll to... You'll see it, because it's a mandatory part of the game. Yeah, you, you'll see it. But, the important thing about that was that... Well... You see, he was staying at home and I was working. And so every night, we would make that extra thousand as well. Or every other night or whatever. So we would make just so much money off of this. And he would just be selling his plants... Yeah, I decided that while he was at work and I was gaining skills, I would earn extra money by making those plants. And then we bought a workbench. And when you're still low level in mechanics, instead of building the rocket gnomes like you're supposed to, which th that'll make more sense later on, instead you build flamingos. And the so, best part about that was I would make flamingos, and if you <laughs> kick them, they bite you. Yeah. And so I would always line my house with attack flamingos. And then we also had that plant out in front of our house, and one time, like, you can hire a maid optionally in this game, which we're going to take advantage of like crazy, but uh, the maid got eaten by the plant, and so we had a ghost maid after that. And it was cool because no matter which house we went to, we always had a ghost maid. So I guess you could say, she's a phantom. Gotta catch them all because she's ghost maid phantom. By the way, you should... Yeah, you're cooking food good. Yeah. I, I'm gonna go, like, poop and stuff. I got enough fun in me, so it's time to cook. And then it'll be time to eat. And by the way, I'm already level 9 cooking. By the way, I'm almost level 8 charisma. Oh, nice. So, we're gonna max out a skill eventually. We're getting there. Charisma is such a long skill, though, that... The sheer fact that it's taking this long shouldn't be surprising to you. Yeah, it's it's not surprising. It's just uh charisma. That's I'm not looking forward to raising that skill later. Charisma is by far the worst skill in the game. Um I don't know about that. Like like in terms of its usefulness, yeah, it probably is the worst one, but it's the one that kind of makes the most sense. Well, one of the ones that makes the most sense, especially for career advancement, it makes probably the most sense. No mechanical well, yeah, you need to have the mechanical knowledge of what you're doing, but you need to have the charisma in order to pass the interviews. <laughs> I don't know why. Get out of my... I don't know why he keeps <laughs> washing dishes in that sink. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> <laughs> this is my swamp. Oh my gosh. I don't know why he keeps doing that, Henry. I don't know, but I have level 8, and assuming I don't, like, pass out. See, the problem, too, is with this, is that it's just ever so slightly awkward of an amount that you have to, like, Whoa. sleep that you hey, get. do you want me to, um, buy a, uh, an espresso machine? No. So that we could stay up longer? Nope. You sure? Nope. I don't like the espresso machine in this game. Okay. I know in the past you liked it. Nah, I just don't like it anymore. My biggest quarrel with it, I guess you could say, is the fact that it's just so... So the, the biggest trade-off with it, and the one that I don't like especially, is the mechanic of it where you have to piss. So I like to put it in the bathroom with me. So what you have to do if you're going to use that, because it... It minuses your bathroom meter like crazy. It, it so gives you if a you're, third of your pee. Yeah, so you have to drink three, run to the bathroom, then go back out, drink three more, run to the bathroom. Hence why I like to put it in the bathroom. <laughs> and which, I like to laugh. Which makes sense, because when you're at a party, everybody goes for that espresso machine, and there tends to be sims that gather in the bathroom during parties. Yeah, a party it in the bathroom. It always happens, no matter what. No matter how well you design your house, there's always bathroom parties in The Sims. Always. The only time that doesn't happen is whenever I do my personal design for bathrooms. You have two bathtubs, and then you have a hallway, and in that hallway you have four rooms that are just toilets. <laughs> That's it. Like, no lights, no windows, just pitch black toilets. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like to call it the poopy dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> the poopy dungeon. <laughs> it's just fun. Oh no! That or I'll put like one way. That or in The Sims Two, oh, I'll put the one gosh. way windows so you so they can't see through. But I'll be watching them always. <laughs> what? <laughs> And whenever I have guests over, I'll like have like a secret couch in like a hidden room, and I'll just be watching. What? Why? Because <laughs> it's funny. Wait, wait, PC Sims Two. PC Sims Two. Oh my gosh, that's that's amazing. <laughs> why else do you think that? I, why else do you think that mom doesn't like me playing Sims Two anymore? Because you mess up her neighborhoods, obviously. But I built my own neighborhood, and it's up on a hill. But she doesn't like your neighborhoods. Your neighborhoods suck. I know, but it's up on a hill. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's up on a hill, and there's two warring families, and uh, they kill each other. In the end. Oh my gosh. I forget. Can you buy a gardener yet? No. Oh, because I don't want to buy a gardener in our clean up these dead plants. Well, even if we could hire a gardener, we don't have money to pay him. No, we do. We have 600 and some dollars. <laughs> That's for food. <laughs> How it is it? Yes, it is. Also, by the way, our papers are too full. That's... I don't care. I'm not picking them up. I'm too lazy. And also, I'm feeding the fish again. Fine. That costs $5 every time that you feed a fish. Uh, does it really? It, yeah, it's more expensive to feed the fish in The Sims than it is to feed a fish in real life. <sighs> Which is weird because I'm gonna be watching the money meter. It's not going down at oh, all. Oh, it isn't this time around. It usually is. I don't. At least it is in the GamCube version. Sometime. I don't think it does. I think it I've might be never only seen for the big before. one, though. Well, when you get the big fish tank, you never feed them because they're fake fish, technically. I just a shame. They're just for they're just for looks. Oh man, you know what we have to get for after this one? Jiggy with it? We have to get herbs. We got to get that herb? I, no, Sims Herbs in the City. No! I never played it before, but everybody keeps telling me I should play it. Oh, by the way, that's food, right? Yeah. Good. And also, by the way, your DualShock 2 controller is not working. Uh, you see, it's fine most of the time, but then it just flashes occasionally like that. Super annoying, but by the way, your Sims, or by the way, your DualShock 2 controller is not working up to full specs. Yeah, it's bl blame. I blame China. I blame Indochina, the I, entire continent. Because I, uh, I, I bought these from. I can't even think of what the site's called now. Newegg, it's it's, it's like Deals Express or something like that. It's some Chinese website. Was it Newegg? It was not Newegg. Are you sure it wasn't Newegg? I'm positive it wasn't Newegg, Henry. The only things I've ever bought from Newegg were a tower of CDs and a gaming headset that was originally $90, but then I got like a... Then it was like $50 off, plus I got a $20 rebate. So I ended up getting a really nice headset for 20 bucks, which I still have to this day, and I use it to film my solo Let's Plays. Or at least record the audio for it. My audio, anyway. Not the game audio. That would be weird. So have you ever done that yet? Where you uh, point a video camera at the screen, are recording it, but then you use like high quality HD sound rips from the game and you like compile it especially and you like make your own video using all the sound bites and stuff from the game because you're insane sometimes. Why would we bother at that point? Because it's funny. But yeah, no, this... Um, yeah, no, we're not using the worst video out, though. If we were using the worst video out, that'd be RF. Which, I don't even have an RF capture card. Your capture card can do RF. Woohoo! Mine can't. I My, really mine only does composite and S-video. And since my TV doesn't have an S-video port, everything goes to composite. I know, but I have the nice S-video and component cables for PS2. I have component for... Well, the front room PS2 has c component cables. Well, yeah, but they're still technically mine because I bought them for the front room one. Yeah. but I mean, And I also... <clears throat> you know what's super annoying, guys? So I have these nice S video cables for my GameCube and for my PS2, but I can't use them because of the fact that if I want to capture anything off of it, I have to use component. 
You can composite. Or composite. No, I have to use component because I'm we, magical. We, we don't have a component capture card. No, we don't. If if, if we, we did, did, then I would be using it all the time. Same though. If I did, I would switch everything except for the game, except for like the really old stuff over to component. Because frankly, I wish we had better video quality on our stuff, but I I just can't afford better capture equipment yeah. right now. I need to get an HDMI one. Or just for your Wii U. That or do what I want to do at some point and buy a. Oh no, not this plan again. So what I really want to do at some point is buy RF cables for my Wii U because they sell them, and then do it that way just just to be a troll. By the way, I really need to talk to you. We're supposed to talk when we eat. And it's not fulfilling my daily dose of social needs. We'll talk to mom. But I can't talk to mom. Yeah, you can play chess with her. It still won't raise it. The only way to do it is face to face, tongue to tongue action, as they say. Are you going to go and have the interacting with mom's exhibit experience? Oh god, please no. <laughs> Just let her out in the house for a little bit. No! That it's, defeats the purpose of trapping her. Yeah, just let her out on occasion so then she can clean up and then go back in her cage like, good girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, and you need to clean the fish cage. <laughs> Are you getting ready to cook again or something? No. Uh -oh. Clean, feed fish. Because you should. Oh, okay, I'll cook food. Um... You should play chess with mom after you clean the fish. So that way it both gets her ready to eat and it makes it so you can talk to her. I got a whole routine before I eat though. Gotta clean the fish bowl and feed the fish. Right, well I'll wait for you by okay. playing piano. And then I'm gonna go sit and then I'm gonna go chess set join. Cause that's just sort of piss. Speaking of which, that rich pig Malcolm, she sure hates him. <laughs> I sure do hate that rich pig Malcolm. So, I, we haven't quite figured out how we're going to do the episodes for this yet. Um, I'm thinking... The house an episode? I think, the, I think that might make too long of episodes if we do it that it's way. It's fine, because... I think what we'll do is we'll do two promotions an episode. Like, what? two promotions a piece an episode, is what I mean. Why not just... So, like, you do two promotions, I get two promotions, we end the episode. So, a house an episode. Mm, that could equal a house an episode, but then we also have, like, the miscellaneous stuff we have to do. Yeah, like, we'll just do party it. at Dudley's! <laughs> your party! Your favorite of the miscellaneous crap that you have to do in this game. So the thing about it, though, is that's not even the worst of it. No, that one's actually pretty easy. No, you know what the worst of it is? Hmm. The worst of it is the one where you have to go and uh, make friends with Malcolm, even though you just killed him like five minutes ago. Oh, yeah, huh. <laughs> you have to assassinate Malcolm, and then after you assassinate him, you have to be friends with him. Yeah, see, it's not raising up for some reason. No, it does. Every time you guys get a word out, it raises out a little oh. bit. It just doesn't raise consistently. Also, after this game, I'm going to go... El Poopadora. It's gonna go poop again. <laughs> I'm raising my mechanical skills, and then I'm gonna probably raise my body skills. And then I don't know. By the way. Yeah. One more charisma point. Oh wow, you're close. By the way, how many are you at this point? Holy snap, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. I like to uh, diversify my points a little bit. I don't like to diversify anything. I like to do it one straight line. <clears throat> I like to put a couple points here, a couple points there. Raise up this skill, raise up that skill. My favorite one to do is logic because you can play chess. So that's why I try to save it till the end. Because it can get your social and your happiness. And that's something very useful when you're playing this game. Be forewarned though, it raises both extremely slowly. 
Well, no, it raises happiness fairly consistently. Consistently, yes, but quickly, no. Also, did you pee in front of it again? No, that's... When you clean the fish tank, it leaves a puddle. Oh. I'll go clean it up and then I'll go <clears> feed <throat> the fish. And I'm gonna go... Piss clean, on flush, Malcolm. Use, flush, clean, clean, use, flush. Flush, use, clean, clean. Oh, make bed. Or er, sleep. Make bed. Make bed. Make bed. Make bed. <laughs> you Why aren't you making bed? <laughs> you can't do both. <laughs> Just gotta sit here reading my book. La da la di da. Shut up, mom. I'll get a job when I feel like it. Gosh. La da 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 da. Do what? it like the Indians do. Oh, apparently I wasn't quite done with cooking. Okay. There you go. Now, now I'm you done are. with cooking. I thought I was. Also, by the way. Yeah. Charisma is so slow that I am still talking to myself after all this time. After all this time, I am still talking to myself. By the way, how does create or how does charisma work when you're talking to a mirror? Wouldn't you have to like have an audience? Um, I think the idea is you practice your speech so much that you can just do it deadpan. You and those fucking gobstoppers! <laughs> swear to God, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. You're, you're your gonna so you're gonna be like Dad at that play with the Twizzler bag. I'm gonna stop your gob. Well. And maybe you should explain that story of Dad with the Twizzler bag. What? What at story? The, at the play. So, oh, did you not hear about that? No. So, not too long ago, Henry and his GF and my parents went to a play. And um, my mom was like, hey, pass some Twizzlers. And like a couple minutes before... An announcement on the PA was like, yo, you if you guys want to get any snacks, get them before the show starts. You know, be considerate. And so, you know, the show started a little bit. My mom thought my dad had some. And she's like, hey, pass me some Twizzlers. So my dad takes the bag and starts crunching it as, like, as loud as possible. Like he's trying to wrestle it away from a monkey or something. And everybody in the audience was like looking around trying to figure out who's making all that noise. I did not hear this at all. You didn't? And I was sitting two seats away from him. So I think it was mom over exaggerating. Oh, probably was. She always does. But, you know. Alright, let's play chess with mom to get her off of it. You almost cook. cooking? Good. Yeah, I'll, I'll cook after I play a quick game of chess with mom. How many points am I away from logic? Oh, I'm like at level six or seven. Seven. Nice. I'm never super sure what the level By is. By the way, I only have four with each of you. What? How do you only have four? Because my... I have 30 with mom and zero with you. Wow, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I have zero with you. Well, I mean, Piter Jack's entire goal as a character is to be a dick, so... Oh, so you mean he's named Wario? Wah! Alright, um, food's ready. Coral. Mom and I are eating. I'm waking up to eat and I'm gonna <laughs> take a shower and go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> remember the other night when we were talking about I don't even remember what we were talking about but I had <laughs> what no don't use the toilet I'm already Henry Henry <laughs> how high paralysis shark <laughs> paralysis shark <laughs> Gobstopper. Remember that? Yes. So we were So we were talking about a thing and he was all like, oh yeah, and then the bad guys shoot a paralysis shard at you. <laughs> I didn't even notice. He was just gonna pass it off. Because he was talking about like paralysis shots, not thinking about paralysis shards <laughs> and their military application. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't even notice I misspoke either until Henry just kept saying paralysis chart. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I sure am glad that we live in a country that gives us the freedom of using paralysis charts. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm already level 6 at mech. Nice. Dang, look at my skills. Yo. I not even create it. I not even charisma out. I think yet. I'm going to take mom's seat at the chessboard away soon. What? Why? Because every time you have to play with her, <laughs> it kicks you off after a few seconds and you can't grind the skill with her there. No, it's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. I, Henry, I, I don't want her there. Well, I do. Because it's going to be a pain in the ass for me to get the last couple levels I need if she's there. Ch uh, hey, Chip, your yeah. good girl has a question. What is it, Bunny? <laughs> Who's the good boy? I don't know. Smokey, but he's dead. Oh. Poor Bunny just sighed at you like, why are you bringing him up again? Smokey was our old dog. Bunny's our current dog. Is our current dog. Implying he is or implying that she is worse. No, I said he's our old dog and she's our current one. I didn't say anything about him being better. I love both my doggos. So, we have a question to ask you though. So if one if one person has a milkshake in one yard, and somebody pops open a cold one in the other yard, so where would all the boys go? I think it'd be like if you put toast on a cat's back, and it, you would just cause the cat to perpetually spin. Because toast... No, 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 not, not toast, butter, I'm sorry. If you put butter no, on yeah, a cat's back. Buttered toast. Because buttered toast always lands butter side down however a cat always lands on its lip on its uh, feet so it would just spin perpetually that you should could, make a perpetual engine with that you could create a perpetual mom gen henry i was just about to play with mom as soon as my last point goes in oh you beat me to it i needed the talks i needed the talks yeah but by I, the way but i also need, needed the foods i need the fun and i wanted to you can have logic. it after the food. You should get the food first. I need to increase my fun first. Just do the food, because then you this can This will only take me a couple seconds. You can increase your fun on the chessboard. But that's slow compared to the piano. Uh-huh. Playing chess. Sir. Stop playing piano. After that, join. She's back. <laughs> back again. Is that from something? Yugi's back. Call a friend. Yugi's back. Yugi's back. Yugi's back. In America. <sighs> now I get to eat some indescribable looking food. You should go to the toilet after. How, how would you describe the food that they eat in The Sims? Like, what does uh, it look like to you? I think it kind of looks like spaghetti. I would describe it as a... Uh, the contents of an old man's... I don't know. It sort of looks like... Freshly mown hay. Or no, maybe it's a roasted chicken, but it's like been squished into like a 2D texture instead of a 3D one. I'm almost positive it's a 2D texture, but... You're um, almost positive it's 2D te It is a 2D texture, but I'm saying it sort of looks like what it, you would represent a chicken with. Like really? Because it has like a red spot on it, and I, I, I think with chicken they'd want to make it like not look raw, right? I don't know, maybe they're into that kind of stuff. You don't know their, you don't know their life. I know, but you don't want to get salmonella. Yeah, but who says the Japanese people though? But this game was made for an American audience. No, this game was made by an American studio. This game was made in J Japan. No, it wasn't. It was made by Maxis. No, yeah. Based in Texas. 
However, that's about as American as it gets. However, did you know that in Japan, you're supposed to eat their eggs raw? Or, or rather, you can eat their eggs raw without fear of getting salmonella because in Japan, e chickens don't have the same kind of diseases. Huh. Interesting. So that means I could eat all the raw cookie dough I want over there. Yep. Fuck yeah. However, did you know that also in Australia, the thing that you don't want to eat raw? Because you know how if you eat, like, beef or... Or, like, if you eat beef over here, and it's, like, almost raw... By the way, you should get that. It might be money. Fuck it. We'll get money later. I wanted to get level 8. But, yeah, so... You know how beef in the U.S you can eat like steaks and stuff and not really worry about getting sick if it's raw in well, more Australia on the raw side anyway no you could eat it entirely raw like like blue rare like blue rare and you won't get sick from it usually Sheesh. well i can say i've been eating raw cookie dough for like 12 years and i've never once gotten sick from it no yeah but in australia pigs are that <clears> way too because here in the u.s if you eat a pig you don't want to eat a raw pig. No, you don't. However, you could eat a raw pig liver if you throw it on the grill for about 20 minutes. But then it wouldn't be raw anymore. I know, but it would be tasty. <laughs> since when have you eaten pig liver? Uh, since we raised a pig at the grove and slaughtered it for its food and we, and we dissected the liver and so they let me cook it. Oh. No joke. Mamie was all like, hey, we have this pig liver that we just dissected. Anybody want to cook it? And you're like, okay. I was like, yeah. Pig liver. It sounds magically delicious, only it isn't. I mean, it's still delicious, but it's just not magical enough. Also, by the way, I think we're doing the exact same thing. Are you doing, uh... Mech? Yeah. By the way, have you done any body yet? Nope. We should do body soon, so then we don't end up crashing and get... Or I guess you could be doing charisma while I'm doing body, but... Also, by the way, how on earth are you so full? Look at... Look at the difference. It's because I didn't waste time doing charisma right away. Well, no, you didn't waste time sleeping. Right well, that time. too. By the way, you're gonna get all of charisma while you're here. No, I'm just gonna get the first five. And no, you're gonna, gonna get, get all of, of them. Later. Because we're doing a special Let's Play. Yeah, I know, but I in in interest of not spending three hours at mom's house. No, in interest of spending three hours at mom's house. No, we we want to avoid that if possible. What do you mean, Henry? We don't want to spend all freaking night here. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. We in fact do not. But then, what happens if I cast paralysis shards upon you? <laughs> <laughs> paralysis shard. <laughs> Paralysis Shart the Musical. Oh no. Shartnado. Sh oh no. <laughs> Shartnado the Second Coming. Shartnado. It's like a NATO. That is Shart. <laughs> Did you replace that light bulb? Yes. Oh, okay. Hey, shark. I gotta beat mom in chess and then I'll cook. And I've got to... Alright, I beat mom in chess. It's time to cook. After I replace that light bulb. You can't beat mom for a special treat. Sucking hole. That, and I need to poop. I do too. Why else do you think that I'm waiting for you to poop? Alright, food's done. Okay. Once I finish pooping, I'm gonna Once go Once I eat. finish... ...puping. So, have you... Did you ever watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged... ...movie for Bonds Between Time? No. You know what sucks? What? The third part of it's just gone missing... ...because of Time Warner copyright. Well, that sucks. It's probably on his website somewhere, honestly. Oh, it could be on his website, but you just can't find it on YouTube. Actually, technically speaking, you can find it on YouTube, but it doesn't have any audio. 
I, get, well, I bet you one day there's going to be episodes of the Abridged series on the Lost Media Wiki. Probably. Like, I was watching something about missing uh, Cartoon Network shows, and you know that one stupid live-action show they did where the kid has, like, cartoon characters living in his head that he sees in real life? What? You don't remember that? Because they made, like, when Cartoon Network was making the move to live-action stuff, that was a show that they pushed, like, crazy. To be honest, I didn't give a shit about Cartoon Network. Well, I didn't either, Ever. but... Well, I... I, I, I I still went there for reruns of Teen Titans Go. Or, not Teen Titans Go. Original Teen Titans. No, you went there for a... I went there for a show that w didn't even exist at the time. Yes, totally. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But, um... Yeah, like, um... Like, they, they advertised that show like crazy. Was that the incredible crew and, like, one other thing? But, anyways, the reason I bring that up is because apparently, like, six or seven episodes of that series are missing... And if you want to count the English version of the show, like, over half of it is missing. The only reason we have a lot of episodes is because people are finding, like, the Dutch dub of it and putting English subtitles on. And that's the only way we have access to those old episodes. So did you know that something that's vaguely interesting that you might know <clears throat> about? So you remember the Disney vault, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look how I'm running. <laughs> 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 are you are you a drunken uncle? I don't know. <laughs> you look like a drunken uncle. Which, I mean, I guess that would make sense since you are Piter Jack. <laughs> I am Piter Jack, that is true. Oh, man. You know, I actually thought about making, like, a Piter Jack YouTube channel a while ago and, like, trying to have the persona of Piter Jack as a Let's Player. Oh, no. Nobody would get the reference. I know, but, like, it would be a funny joke to me. Because, like, everybody would be like, this is an asshole who plays video games. I should follow him. And it would be funny to me because I'd be like, ha, joke's on you. I'm not really Piter Jack. Ha, joke's on you. My real name is... Jack Ryder. No, ha, joke's on you. My real name is... Give me a gobstopper. Ah. Uh, thank you. Try your lemon flavor. Lemon one's okay. My favorite one is the green one. Mm. My favorite one is green and orange and red. And... Why is there no blue one? That's a good question, actually. Why is there no blue one? I don't know. There's a bunch of blue on the box, but there's no blue one. However, is there a blue too? So, you know, uh, Ewan McGregor, the guy who played Obi-Wan. The guy who played Obi-Fun Kenobi? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, what about him? So, did you know... So, do you know the story behind his name? No? Or rather, not behind his name, but behind his brother's call sign. Oh, yeah. His brother is part of before. the Royal Air Force. And, uh... So, an interesting thing is... Why were you just bringing them in? I don't know! <laughs> oh, he's trying to put them in the trash compactor. Oh. Hold on. I have to move the trash compactor. Dang it, why can't he just throw them away outside like a normal person? Here, Chip. Instead of doing that, Why, instead... why don't I just put the trash compactor outside? it will be more useful out here anyway. I don't know. I'll just move all the newspapers back out. But, so you know what else is vaguely interesting about that whole story? What? So, did you know that his real-life brother hates Star Wars? That's awesome. Yeah. I kid you not, his brother's just like, eh, why'd you take up this stupid job? Also, I still have yet to get even... No, I have exactly 20. I have exactly 20 skill points. Meanwhile, I'm, like, maxed out on most things. <laughs> Except for charisma, because you being a dick and you're not one Charisma to to... sucks. It's the worst That's skill. why you have to get it, because otherwise I'll have wasted, like, all of my life. Because <laughs> otherwise I'll have wasted all of my life. <laughs> and also, you still look like a drunken uncle. Yeah. What do you do with a drunken uncle? What do you do with a drunken uncle? What do you do with a drunken uncle? So, you know what's great about that song, actually? I didn't think anybody actually sung it, like, outside of movies and stuff. 
And then I went to the United Kingdom in like 2007, 2006, sometime around there. And I was on a ship going between uh, like mainland UK and Ireland. Like the part that the rest of the UK controls, that is. Oh, so, uh, and, Ulster? um, so while we were on the boat on the way back, there was a couple of drunken Scotsmen, and they were singing that among various other things. And when I say these guys were drunk, they were so drunk. Like, that is the most drunk I've ever seen any human being be before in my life. Oh, you mean, uh, they were happy? Because for some reason in the UK, there is a law that says that you cannot say somebody was drunk, else you risk getting sent to jail for slander. Well, we're good we're not, job, we're, UK. Well, we're not from the UK, so fuck that. They were pissed drunk. I like, know, but it's just hilarious to me that that's they were actually so a law that drunk. somebody thought that should exist. By the way, I'm using toilet. Well, it's fine because I'm eating. But yeah, they were so drunk. And they were singing that, and they were singing, like, another, like, really ancient she sea shanty, I guess, that other people recognized, but I didn't. Like, yo-ho, the pirates. Buttocks. No, no, like a real she sea shanty. A real ah, I, I lured them. I lured Mom out by pretending to talk to her. A real she shanty. And what was great about that is because or rather they they were singing that whole time like during the whole boat ride back and so the whole lot of us we were like middle schoolers about to enter high school so we were all there and we were clapping as they were singing applauding them uh and they were, and like i remember one of them was like do you have any requests and um one of the girls asked for some pop song and one of the guys is like I'm sorry I don't know this one and then the other one just starts singing it and it was great because he, he was like even trying to do the high no it, I remember what it was it was 500 miles I would walk 500 miles and I so would listening walk. to a drunk person try to sing that song is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life like I was laughing so hard that day Oh my god. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. But then there was another person who was on that ship who actually was crying because I guess her boyfriend back in the States broke up with her or something. Oh, like, that sucks. Yeah, there, there was a lot of drama on that trip. A lot of drama. But also stop it, Mom. A friend of mine that I met on that trip, who I still talk to to this very day, is uh, coming to visit soon, which is cool. Yeah. We get to see him again. Okay. We can we can reminisce about the drunk sea shanties again. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love to remember that night. However, uh, will he ever reminisce about the crab dick? No, because he wasn't part of that. That is still the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But it was great. It, it was one of those things you had to be there for. I don't know. It's still absolutely stupid. Yeah, but most funny things are. No, they are. Yeah, they are. The paralysis shark is pure <laughs> gold. <laughs> That's a great A stupid right there. <laughs> it is. So, airplane food. What's the deal with it? Okay, Ray Romano. <laughs> I always hear that, and I always wonder, who the heck eats on an airplane? We did when we went to the United Kingdom. Yeah, but that's because you're all drunks. Out. I had to fly out from LAX, and it was a non-stop flight. I don't even remember what the food was anymore. I just remember it being meh at best. It wasn't anything to write home about, but it wasn't, like, so terrible that I would make shitty stand-up jokes about it. <laughs> so you know what I found out is actually really good? And I mean, it should have been self-evident because it's, you know, where it is. So the fancy restaurant in California Adventure is actually really good. Oh, Expensive yeah. as all hell because 40 bucks for a freaking pheasant. I think that's pretty run of the mill for pheasant though. Or at least Or not even pheasant. No, it was quail and it was sriracha. 
Sriracha quail? Sriracha quail. Interesting. And it was delicious. Even though I hate spicy food, it was like the only spicy food I could ever eat. That's kind of how I was with... Uh, is Bunny okay? She's kind of twitching a lot. <laughs> She's Bunny? sleeping. Bunny, are you having a nightmare, girl? <laughs> you okay? I think her dog was having a nightmare. Or having the best dream of her life. No, I'm pretty sure that was a nightmare. I don't like, know. Because I heard her whimper one or two times. Whenever I, whenever I have a great night's sleep, I'll just vaguely twitch... I, I think she was whimpering a bit. Ah, uh, where are you, lassie? So, um, I don't know. I think maybe she wasn't having a good sleep. So, you know what else is vaguely interesting? Did you know that, legally speaking, Scotland has been part of the country of England for longer than the... United States has been a thing. However, a lot of people in Scotland even don't even realize their history. Because technically speaking, ever since Queen Mary, Queen of the Scots, you know, took over, there's never been an actual monarch of Scotland. It's always just been a part of the English kingdom. Hmm. So all these Scotland referendums I always find just sort of vaguely funny because it's basically British people complaining about being British and therefore asking their government to not be in Britain anymore and they're just like I don't know and I mean technically speaking the Queen does have the authority to go in with a bulldozer and just knock over everybody in there because she is the law so there is no law that affects her sort of interesting things. At this point, I don't think the Queen of England is going to be doing much of anything. Yeah, I know. She's getting up there in age. Getting up there? She's like 10,000 years old. She's 10,000 years. She, she, she's like older than she's like older than a Tim at this point. She's older than Ashens? No, she's older. Well, yes, she is older <laughs> than Ashens, but she's, she's basically older than a Tim at this point. He was sealed inside of a for 3,000 years. But did you know that, technically speaking, when the queen dies, so whoever takes over, most likely her son, or her eldest son, but, you know, royal power grabs, that's likely to change. However, though, whichever prince takes over, they'll have to, A, fight in order to you know, seize power, obviously. Engage in a little bit of fisticuffs. B, they will have to go to to every country that is part of the Commonwealth and inform them so that they can take the Queen's face off of the money and replace it with the new person's face. Because by law, you cannot show f an ex-monarch on money. Huh. Yeah, and that's just a weird thing that happens to exist thanks to... Another vaguely strange thing about that too, though, is that also, either the Commonwealth will either collapse in terribly, or has a strong possibility of either collapsing, you or forming into a proper, like, you... A European Union esque union. One of the two. Not sure which yet, but it's almost certainly gonna happen. One of the two sides. Hmm. Are you watching the Spanish people again? Hold on, what? <laughs> By the way, we're gonna have to censor all of that. No. No, we no. have to censor it. No, we don't. 
Yeah, otherwise we'll get copyrighted. Nobody's even going to recognize that. It's from... Cheesy on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's from that stupid Diddy app. Diddy? Yeah, it's like D-I-T-T-Y. It's, it, it's like you can type whatever you want and then it has a bunch of different voices you can choose from. It's the stupidest thing ever. So in essence, it's the... Aren't you glad that you installed a racist app on your phone? The app? It's not racist. You can just pick from different voice profiles. My like, name like is the, Italian. Well, like the one that most people pick is like this lady voice. And it's like... I'm trying to think of the one that I keep seeing spread around everywhere. You are cordially invited to fuck my ass or you know something like that you're cordially invited to fuck my ass yeah that, that's like the most popular one I keep seeing right now alright I'm level 8 with body I think it's time to eat Gosh, let me see your skills really quick Dang. upgrade charisma please <coughs> please eventually please just do it all at mom's house Depending on where you're at with your skills. Because I need to have all of my skills maxed up. Or I'm eating. Okay, well, I'm playing games with mom. Because well, I'm the mother trucking king of games. There we go. And my hair's high and my pants are tight. And I'm the sexy. Sexy! Time to puke. Good thing that we live in a free market society. Or you can go poop whenever you want to. Yeah, we don't live under the tyranny of, uh, <laughs> of Sheldon. <laughs> of Sheldon. Pizza pasta. <laughs> Sauce on my cock. <laughs> Cheesy for my peony end. <laughs> I'm so glad that's stuck in your head now. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard! I know. I know. <laughs> Hold on. Start it over. Oh, it's Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. I I really want Dad to hear that, but at the same time, I really don't want him to hear it, because he, if he hears it, he's probably going to sing it nonstop. <laughs> oh no! And that's also why I want him to hear it. <laughs> so he'll sing it nonstop. You should... Anytime I, our dad hears a song, he feels <laughs> the need to sing it obsessively for like three weeks. Ma like minimum curses mom so I she made I, me stop reading I really want dad to hear that for that exact reason <laughs> you know it would be even better because I can also just... by the way let me see you really quick you're still running like that <laughs> you're still <laughs> drunk and you're almost fit <laughs> I think it's cause my active is only at 3 dude my active is like eight. Eight. Why did you put it so high? It means you're gonna get tired super fast. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. That's not actually what it does. That's one thing it does. No. Oh, another nice thing about this game is unlike Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, we're not gonna get copyright ID for the music, which is awesome. <sighs> hey! Ho! Let's go! Hey! Oh, oh man! Let's go, <laughs> living in a Thrillville. I'm pretty Jeez. sure the song is from Thrillville. <laughs> Cheesy on my pee <laughs> and a sauce on my balls. <laughs> so the first time through, I heard it as "dip your salsa in my balls." <laughs> oh man! Oh. Quality entertainment here at the Game Idiots YouTube channel. We oh, so fun fact about this episode is originally I like my original plan was to have this be live streamed at the same time we were recording it, 
but I couldn't figure out how to make my capture card play with OBS, so I said fuck it. And um, we just decided to record it instead. <laughs> Which is ultimately easier. Oh yeah, I'm finally the next level. I'm level 9 at body right now, so I'm almost completely fit, and I'm still running like a drunk old man. Yeah, you're just drunk. I guess so. I'm surprised alcohol hasn't been a thing in The Sims for very long. They finally added it in on Sims 4. Well, yeah, but don't forget, it's an American company. Like you said earlier, alcohol is bad. It's like tobacco. You know, you could show people with their brains splattering out their back, but if you show somebody doing the unthinkable task of smoking a cigarette... You're or even worse, a nipple slips out for 0. .4 of a femtosecond. Yeah, nobody gives a shit about nudity. Yeah, they do. They really don't, Chip. You can actually show a full frontal nudity shot and still keep your film only PG-13. You show a single cigarette, and it has to be by, well, convention, but in some states, actual by law, the lowest strength that that film can get is an R. I don't believe that at all. Yeah. Because you have to have some characters, like, there there are some films where some characters smoke cigarettes. That's just, no, yeah. like, part of their character. But only... Especially if, the, if, especially if there's, like, a historical reason for it. You can't just censor out people who smoke cigarettes by making Yeah, documentaries aren't considered the same... Well, no, not even, like, documentaries. Classes, like, just no. Just films that are set in a historical setting. Yeah, they're just still not allowed to do it. It's also why, technically speaking... Up until or like hell, foreign films like like French films where cigarettes are the main characters. But did you know that also something vaguely interesting? If you didn't ever realize this. So did you know that you can actually find more people that think smoking is a sin than you can people that think that like prostitution is a sin. Hmm. Yeah, smoking. However, did you know that also, one of the weirdest things, in my opinion, is that... Yes. Yes! <laughs> no, but one of the weirdest things, in my opinion, as far as what I know of, is that... <laughs> and some salsa on my balls. Oh, thank you, Joey. You you've made my night. Joey? Yeah, the guy who posted it. This his name is Joey. Oh, so not like. Thank you so much, Joey. When you first said that, I was like, "What, Joey?" Thank you so much. When I first heard that, I thought that it was like this fifth grade kid that my mom like babysits after school. Oh yeah, he's also named Joey, but no, not the When I first Joey. heard that, I thought it was that Joey, or I thought it was the Joey that has Brooklyn Rage. Oh hey, I'm friends with my mom. Wow. <laughs> I just became friends with my mom. <laughs> oh, here, let me see. Am I friends with anybody? You know what that will mean, Chip? I'm mm. just gonna never friend anybody, but I'll just keep on letting you do all the friend work, because I can't actually- it won't save, remember? Yeah. So I'm just gonna let you become friends with everybody. Well, I just sit back and... So don't try and kiss the general again. But I'm going to kiss the general every time. No. <gasps> also, clean the fish tank. I'm going to clean it's the fish disgrace. tank. It's a disgrace. Because he, you're, you're a disgrace. He has no style. He, he has, has no grace. grace. This, this Kong, Kong is, is a, a fucking, fucking disgrace. disgrace. Yes, level 10 logic. Time to finish off body. But oh my god, that Diddy app is the stupidest thing on the face of the planet, and I love it so much. With oh the bust on my weenie and some <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy on my peenie and some sauce, sauce on, on my balls. balls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
We should download that and we should make a let's play of it where we're just a let's play of an of like a smartphone app. Yeah, we should do a let's play of it where we're just terrible assholes, like terrible racist assholes. And no, because that's essentially what we just are encouraging with that song. Not really, because everybody knows Italian is racist. Are you seriously installing it? Yeah. <laughs> of course I am. Install. Also, Chip. Install. I've never seen such bravery. Okay. Insufficient storage. Bullshit. I have like 512 megs free. How do I not have enough space for this? Probably way bigger. Hmm. Are you talking about the hump again? No, you, you killed him, remember? You launched that rocket gnome and it burned him to the ground. Oh yeah. I killed the hump. Yeah, it's your own damn fault. The, and by the way, Bella. She left me. Alright, I finally finished leveling up on that. Uh, I have a few more for mech, a few more for creative, and I have to start logic from Zilch. Or er, Charisma. He already finished logic. Oh yeah. Time to poop. By the way, creative is probably the easiest to start from Zilch. Yeah, it is. It's the easiest to level up to max. <clears throat> By far. However, you know what's the hardest to level up? Oh shit, Henry, get rid of that plate on there. Charisma. It's gonna make a boat for everyone. with Kansas, the main character in all of the books. What books? What book has a character named Kansas? <laughs> the Wizard of Oz. The character's not Kansas, the character's <laughs> Dorothy. No, the character's Kansas. She falls from the sky from the great state of Dorothy. Oh, I must be remembering it wrong. Yeah, you know. And, uh, her little dog, the Wicked Witch of the East. No, no, her little dog's name is Totoro. Totoro. <laughs> By the way, that's such a bad movie. No, it's not. Totoro? That, that, that's like one of the better Ghibli films. I don't like a lot of Ghibli films. I think they're horribly overrated. How's Moving Castle is good. That Spirited Away is pretty Spirited Away boring. is the most overrated movie I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's boring, but... What? Oh, that, that and Princess Mononoke. God, Mononoke is unfucking bearable I can't stand that movie. It's like three hours of nothing. Like, I like I seriously would get more enjoyment staring from a blank wall than watching that again. It was that bad. Like, holy shit, it was bad. <clears throat> also, you'll have to sleep while I'm practicing my speech. I hope that doesn't wake you up. If it does, then we'll have to, like, snap your neck or something. No, we'll just have to end the episode, I guess. No. Then otherwise you're taking a nap on the couch. No, we'll just move the mirror around to the other side. People don't know that there's an easy solution, Henry. Oh no, you're right! We're gonna have to build an entire extra room just for me to sleep. Actually, that wouldn't be that bad of an idea, adding in a guest house in every house. We'll do that once both of us need to sleep. Yeah, so one of my favorite things to do in The Sims Busting Out too is to build the side house for all of the sidekicks, like Mom and Mimi. But Mimi's like your lover. No, she's my mansion. <laughs> the mansion is named Mimi. The girl is named The House. The girl is named The Crib. The Crib. <laughs> Cribs. Sims in the city. No, it's Herbs. Sims in the city. No, Cribs. Sims in the city. I should look. I should actually look up what that goes for. It's far too much. I type in Herbs and Sims in the city is the first thing that pops no, up. No, you know what would be even funnier, though? If you put in Herbs and the first thing that popped up was a Mary Juana. So what's actually pretty funny about herbs from what I was reading is um, 
<clears throat> was that uh, Herbs was supposed to be like apparently Maxis really bet the farm on the on uh, Herbs because originally The Sims 2 for console was like Herbs 2 and they were hoping to have like a whole spinoff series with that but it just didn't get popular enough and honestly I don't blame the general public for not liking it because like you take one look at the cover for the game and you're like oh that looks stupid well it looked dank ass ugly it, it looks so stupid like I don't know I'm not a, I'm not generally not a fan of like inner city aesthetic like that I don't know I live in the herbs the real herbs <clears throat> So I don't need any more herbs in my life. Yeah, but it's weird. It's called Herb Sims in the City, but like, you, you like the game takes place in the inner city. Well, admittedly enough, that is technically speaking urban. Technically speaking, we live in a suburban area. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just think of. Oh well. Oh, so you know what else is interesting? I was uh, looking at not too long ago. Like I, I, I'm not gonna make it a secret, guys. I love stuff like abandoned malls and uh, rides that don't exist in amusement parks anymore and like stuff like the that. Like pretzel dark rides. No, those are stupid. Those are stupid. No, I also think I like them. <laughs> I like good rides. Oh, like a Hollywood limo. Or Superstar Limo. Superstar Limo, 10 out of 10, would ride again. Actually, no joke, I do actually remember that. Like, I, I don't remember that at all. Because like, I we remember went the signs, way back then. Like, I remember the signs for it, but I don't, I don't remember riding it. We went to it way back when it was first open, and it really was as bad as people say. But at the same time, it was as good as people say, too. It was like that special blend of horrible nightmare fuel-inducing... Regis Philbin. I don't remember it at I I like remember very little about it. I mostly remember its current incarnation, where it's oh, the, the Monster Zinc ride. Which, by the way, I actually really like that ride. I like that ride just fine. I don't have any problem with it. I know a lot of people like hate it for some reason. I don't think it's bad. I, I think it's like one of the least good of the uh, show, like the movie-based dark rides. I it's, don't know. It's like one of the least good ones, but it's not a bad ride. No, Ariel's Undersea Adventure is the worst possible I, I like ride. that. I like that one. No, it's so bad. The, the animatronics are so bad. I, I like that one. Uh, mostly because I like The Little Mermaid a lot. And I don't like The Little Mermaid. I love The Little Mermaid. I like its sequel, but I don't like the original. I love The Little Mermaid. I love Aladdin. Oh, if Aladdin had a dark ride, that would be my jam. Oh, I know. I would, I would ride that every time. I would ride that down. every day. I would make it a point to drive down to Disneyland just to ride that one ride and leave. <laughs> Knowing you, you're completely serious, too. Yeah. So what the fuck? Now he's just taking it directly to the trash can instead of wasting time with... <sighs> tisk tisk. Alright, whatever. Time for me to uh, practice my speech. I do 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 do. Uh huh. You beat mom in chess again. I beat you, my mother, and by my mother I mean Piter's mother. <laughs> Jack Piter. Jack Piter. Piter Jack. No, you beat Pe you beat Jack Piter, your alter ego. Yes. But no, this is Piter Jack. And, um... Jack Ryder is the evil alter ego. No, he's the better alter ego. No, he's the evil arch alter ego. Piter is the can't get out of bed this afternoon because I live in my mom's basement incarnation. <laughs> That's why he's so inactive. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, he's gotta take a shower. I I'm gonna make him take a bath so I don't have to be dressed like this anymore. Don't take a bath. Just use the dresser if there is one. There isn't one. But yeah, what really... You, you guys want to know what really grinds my gears, though? 
The fact that they made a console game for Sims 3, but there's no split-screen multiplayer like this. And I just have to ask why. Why is that not a thing? Like, this is the whole reason I want to play console Sims, is because it has this split-screen mode. Like, do, do people not realize that? Like, the a big part of the console experience is split-screen. Like, I mean, I realize with newer consoles that's not as popular of a thing with services like PSN and Xbox Live, but there's something to be said about the split-screen experience, especially on a game like The Sims. Like, you want to try to play Sims over live? That's n it's not going to work. It's not a game that you can really do that with. But I would gladly take the drop in graphical fidelity to have a split-screen mode like this. And I think a lot of people would agree with me. Speak for yourself. <clears throat> you would take... You, you would rather have it run in like 1080p than have it drop down to like 720 and have split-screen multiplayer like this? Oh no, what I would rather do is just... You know... Then not... Then just, you know, do something actually good and make a Sims 3 pets for console. They did. And have it be exactly like Sims 2 pets for console. Or for DS, or for Game Boy, the DS version is weird. I don't like it as much. I, I'm ambivalent toward it. No, seriously, the DS version is crap compared to the original Game Boy Advance version. Which, but considering the Game Boy Advance version was mediocre at best. No, that's the Game Boy Advance terrifying. version is a great game, and I won't have you insulting it. It's not a great game. It's. It's so yeah, it is. It's like Duelist of the Roses. It's great. No, Duelist of the Roses is actually a good game, but freaking Sims 2 Pets on Game Boy Advance is not a good game. What did I do to deserve this? It's... I'll, I'll say this. For a... I, I don't know how they could have pulled off a Game Boy Sims game better than they did, but it's not a good game. Sims 3 for DS or for 3DS is exactly what you want from a Sims game. Is it? Because it's basically the PC version on console. It's beautiful. <clears throat> and as long as they have that uh, local multiplayer, I'm nope. good. Well, fuck that. Much like the actual PC, they never had multiplayer. Ever. Well, wow, fuck that. I want multiplayer in my Sims. Stop love talking that. about multiplayer Sims. It's not. But that's what we're playing right now. I know. And I love it. It's my favorite part about this game. It's a feature. It's my favorite feature. It's my <laughs> FF, my favorite feature. By the way, do you remember? It's a feature. Also, don't forget to grab some food so you can okay, talk I'm gonna to us. crush mom in a game of. Chaz, though. You like jazz? You know that. get an appreciation for freeform jazz. <laughs> Do you know what's the weirdest meme that I found recently? So, for some reason, there's this meme online. It's just freaking Barry Benson from the B movie saying. You like jazz? Why? I don't know. That and also, uh... I can't think of what it was. It was like... A guy praying to... Lightning McQueen by saying... ka Three thousand... Thirty-two thousand times for charity. Oh no. No, 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 la 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 Okay, can't hear that advertisement. But this you can hear. Oh, that's not right. What on earth? <laughs> what were you listening that's to? That's not what I thought it would be. That is definitely not what I thought it would be. Alright, there we go. That's more like it. Oh god, did you put on the 15 hour version or something? <laughs> <laughs> no 10 minutes. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm already sick of that. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe if we had like the full version of it, which I don't know, maybe that one video was the full version of it, but um, it, it didn't sound like it. I don't know. There's actually like something I found that was hilarious to me personally. 
is the there's how close are you to being done that close oh wow you're pretty far behind still mm -hmm. gotta step it up while you're making friends I can be doing skills that's true that is true I'm also stupid mom for winning again <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that actually make her smarter than you no because I crush it magic the Pokemon version. Oh, shut up, Mom. I'll get a job eventually, I promise. Hey, it sounds like real life. I have a job in real life. <laughs> Come on, level up. Oh, stupid charisma it takes so long. I like how. Do you remember that Gordon Ramsay? How he was a thing for a while? What do you mean he was a thing? And he was popular, right? He still kind of is? Is he like Guy Fieri? Uh, no, but there was this hilarious picture where it was like. Guy Fury and this one guy from NSYNC and they had like the opposite beards of each other and put them together and this will be complete oh yeah it's like if they kissed the beard would be complete <laughs> 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 and those of you who know what I'm talking about definitely know what I'm talking about if not google search Guy Fury if they kiss they will be complete you'll find it google uh, Guy Fury kissing wild beard <laughs> I don't know, it just sounds like funny Google search to do. Hey Chip, do you remember hearing that news story about the Gordon Ramsay porn star dwarf that died by getting eaten by a badger on set? What the fuck? <laughs> so there was a porn star who looked exactly like Guy Fieri, only he was a dwarf. Okay, hold on, hold on. First of all, why are we talking about the news on this channel? Secondly, why are we talking about a porn star on this channel? <laughs> Thirdly, why was he eaten by a badger? And fourthly, what the hell do you have to get yourself into if your dick is inside of a badger? No comment. I mean, come on, what kind of messed up stuff is that, right? I don't know what kind of fucking news you read or watch or whatever. RT live. <laughs> no, but seriously though, it's a weird. It was like a. It's a meme thing. It happened like six years ago. But just that news. That newspaper cover is like a meme. It's like a. Wang hurt. A rod deep. Or a rod goes deep. Wang hurt. Yeah. Wow, I had to poop so bad it put my <laughs> sim in a bad mood. Wow. <laughs> so it's like in real life. Whenever you have to go poop. Yeah, I do. I do tend to get in a bad mood when I have to poop. <laughs> and then as soon as you finish pooping, you're still in a bad mood. Mm. No, no, I'm pretty much in a bad mood all the time. So, okay, not really, but. I actually recover from a bad mood pretty quick after I poop. This episode is going all over the place. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. First off, there's us telling stories about the Sims busting out, and then there's pasta pizza sauce on my dick. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the further we get into this episode, the more off-topic it gets. Oh, by the way. Not that it was ever on top. You guys should uh, subscribe to our secondary podcast. We don't off have topic. A we don't have a podcast channel. Don't worry. No, but you should actually subscribe to Rooster Teeth's off topic podcast. It is hosted by Michael. How about no? But I mean, yeah, Michael's great. How about no? And also, they drink a lot. And they happen to get Gavin to tell them really stupid stories about him not knowing how Star Wars works and be confused by the words far far away 
and long time ago. That's still the stupidest video I've ever seen. It's Gavin Free being just absolutely confused by the concept of Star Wars. Well, there's a reason that Mike and I made our skater in Tony Hawk Pro Skater for Gavin Free. There's a good reason you guys for that. Did. Yeah, that, that yeah, we named him Gavin and made his hometown London, England. Oh no. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was no nose slider, so his nose had to stay at kind of normal human sizes. Ah, oh, so you didn't get to expand the dong? No. Gavin's nose isn't even really that big though, like No, it's not that big. However, I did hear something vaguely interesting from Michael. Apparently he has, like, a massive dong. Why would Michael know that? Well, I mean, those two have, like, engaged in, like, almost all forms of coitus with each other at this point. Why would Michael know how big <laughs> his dick is? Well, plus also, we've even seen it... So, did... Did you ever hear the story... Why are we talking about <laughs> Gavin Free's dick? I don't know. Stop making us into a Rooster Teeth <laughs> fan page, Henry. But it's so much fun. No, talk about something else. Oh, you mean like Pokemon the Next Generation? What are you talking about? Oh, you don't remember that? It was what they called the silver and gold version Millions. in the anime. It was called Pokemon the Next Generation. That's actually what the official title oh, for the anime sucks. was. They called it Pokemon Gold Silver. Because it's a kid from Pallet Town with a brand new world to see. And he's got new rivals and brand new destinies. By the way, the inclusion of Emerald, while I enjoy it, was sort of silly. Because if you ever watched the Pokemon anime... Nobody gives a shit about the Pokemon anime anymore. They had a season where they were on Battle Tower, which... Weird thing they added in during Pokemon Emerald that wasn't in Ruby or Sapphire. But then again, they changed a lot of stuff for Emerald. Yeah, for some reason they made Wallace into the Elite Four Master, and then they made uh, some random asshole into his gym leader. I'm like, no, make Wallace a gym leader. He's a gym leader. He's not the Elite Four guy. That's Steven. So why was Steven not? I forget. I don't... I know there's a plot reason as to why he's not. Because he's researching the Reggies or some shit. Which, by the way, who on earth remembered the Reggies? I... Seriously, if I didn't look up videos online about how to do it back in like 2007 I never would have gotten them I got them because I knew somebody who had a guidebook for Ruby Sapphire I prime a strategy guide and uh, they told you how to do it yeah legit if I didn't look up that video though oh and then wouldn't know. you know I also met a kid who claimed to have the bonus disc that came with Coliseum that gives you a Celebi in reality, he hacked one in using an action replay, and it was so poorly hacked in that it caused you to get bad eggs, so it was fucking up my save file really bad while I had it, and I was like, shit, I need to get rid of this somehow. And while I was in Vegas one time, with like our family takes used to take a lot of trips to Vegas, but um, and one we time, still do. not as much as we used to, but and grandma and grandpa during one that. trip that we took over there... Uh, there was this other kid in the lobby who was like a couple years younger than me. He was playing Pokemon as well. And I was like, Yo, kid, do you want a Celebi? <laughs> I passed off the glitched Celebi to him. By the way, it became his problem. Jirachi is like the best. Jirachi sucks. He's so weak. I know. Also, one point until I finish Charisma. I call hacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just haven't been paying attention. But I've been asleep, like, this entire time. <laughs> By the way, you aren't cooking food anymore. That Why? poor guy is starving. Shut up, Mom. Pizza, pasta. <laughs> Spaghetti <laughs> is my dick. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Pepperoni. 
pasta rasta. You and your pasta roni, Henry. So a thing that I like to do is I like pasta roni. He likes anything with a roni added to the end of it. <laughs> Macaroni, pasta roni, rice roni. That I do. And he will petition to make it like any time there's a, a, a shrimp aroni, uh, Scallop scallops in the rain aroni. <laughs> That's a whole other meme that we have, but <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get into that one later. When it's not 1.30 in the morning. Oh, so you mean right now? <laughs> no. Because it's not 1.30, it's 1.22. It's almost 1.30. Pretty fucking late, either way. And this episode, Henry's already like two hours or so. Yeah. So I may just say fuck it and make this into two parts. <laughs> I may not. I haven't decided yet. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, look at this. Playing the piano is cause looks causing my hygiene to go up. I was playing the piano and my hygiene bar was going Oh up. yeah, do you remember that time where I was at work and all of a sudden my uh, freaking sleep meter was going up like really fast all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, what? And that happened for a while and then it just stopped happening and we were like, huh? What? Man, our skills are getting up there. Especially mine. Look at that shit. It's good shit. Considering the game doesn't expect you to do any of this grinding at my mom's house. Yeah, I I kind of almost think that maybe the fact that, you know, sleep and shower isn't needed at mom's house, I think it might be an Easter egg almost like something that they left in that you could find out that you could do for more efficient doings of things I don't know here's what I own it, it might be a glitch it might be an oversight here's it might honestly, it might be something left over by beta testers I'm really not sure here's what I'm guessing so my guess is the dream sequence pauses that kind of stuff while you're in the dream sequence because you cannot fall asleep in the dream but you can you know mess around forever in there so i'm wondering if that is an error caused by the dream sequence and the game not ever fixing some kind of like a check in the memory or something like that until after well until you move out because then well i don't the know game about... actually properly loads the next area well I, I would think if it was an oversight like that that if you reset the console it would fix the glitch but that's not the case because i can save turn off my ps2 and come back to it in like a week and it'll still work like we did earlier today well we didn't leave it for a week we only left it for a few hours yeah but ram dumps like instantaneous yeah I know but I'm saying I don't think that's the case I don't think that's what it's doing I mean it could be and it just like see, it keeps because the I flag imagine that, it, like the, that one flag gets carried over see I don't think it would be necessarily <clears throat> if you think about know. it this way in game development it's not so much so if you restart or anything like that, it would ever reset a flag because the flag is well, part so, of the Well, some memory. flags are temporary, though. Some flags are held in temporary memory, and if you reset the application, then it resets those flags. It, it really depends on how they set it up. Also, I'm about to poop, so hurry up. Once I gain this level, I'm pooping. <laughs> so hurry up because I'm... Also, by the way, as soon as I finish this... Look level, how low my toilet is. I need to poop. Once I finish off my... Alright. Stop practicing speech. Go poop. There we go. Level Whoa. 10. Whoa! What? My cursor just, like, went one direction. Ew, why did it go after that band? Uh, apparently my cursor likes terrible music. <laughs> I guess. But there we go. Now I don't have to poop anymore. So. Also, logic level 4, creative level 5, cooking level 0. Level zero. Last level for charisma. Okay, I've maxed out charisma. Now all you have um, to do is what? I have to finish creative and mechanic. 
Oh, you didn't finish Mechanic yet? No, because you kicked me off of it, remember? No, because you can't be kicked off of Mechanic. Well, yeah, no, but you're saying, Oh, you should do the other skill instead so we don't clash when I have to do it. Oh, yeah, correct. Body. I did body when you kicked me off of it. Good! No! I'm melting! Good. <laughs> I love that deadpan delivery. I love it too, if anything, just because of the fact that the word good is hilarious. Oh, so, funny thing about that actually, I knew a guy who owned like three CDIs. Like, no joke. Uh, he Why didn't he, he probably still does to this day. He probably owns like three CDIs. Why didn't he give you any? Because at the time we didn't know they were of any value. They were just like another weird thing that his parents bought a few years ago, and they were just sitting in a closet. I think he threw out one of them though, because it had like a coke spill on it or something. Oh, he shouldn't have. But yeah, no, he had like three CDIs, and he even showed me he had, I can't remember if he had one or two of the Zelda games, but he had at least one of them. And at the time it didn't mean anything to me, because... I mean, Shape is a big Zelda hater. I'm not a Zelda hater. I just I didn't grow up with it like other people did. He's a big fat meanie. No, I'm not. I just I he's a meanie genie, is what he is. I, I didn't grow up with Zelda. Like a lot of people, really grew up with Zelda, and it's like an essential part of their childhood. I didn't. Like the games I grew up with were like Sonic and Mario, <laughs> so they're the ones that are important to me. So it's sort of like how Sonic. Zelda 2 for some reason. Oh yeah, because you got you randomly got that uh, Game Boy game, and by the way, it's still my favorite Zelda game ever, hands down. It's a pretty good one. It's just hard as shit. The thing is, a lot of people find it hard. I find that game way easier than, say, Zelda Majora's Mask or something. Majora's Mask is fucking easy. I don't know, like, I just hate like, okay, having to control I, it. I'm going to say something pretty controversial here, but I prefer 2D Mario, I prefer 3D Sonic, and I prefer 3D Legend of Zelda. No, yeah, that's um, pretty fair so of an assessment. Feel free to flame me in the comments or whatever, but... Um, See, I prefer... Th uh, those are my preferences. You don't have to agree with them, that's just how it is. I prefer... Quality Zelda, which is something that rarely exists. Now that is going to get you some hate. No, but seriously though, guys, I just prefer quality games, which is something that, yeah, especially given my uh, line of expertise, is a very hard thing to find. Line of expertise, quality games. You like Nickelodeon Party Blast, your opinion's invalid. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's very hard for me to uh, find games because of my specialization like blues clues <laughs> big musical adventure God, the only set. reason we even still have that game is because mom wouldn't let me sell to gamestop yes because you were taking you tried to sell my game on because GameStop. you didn't play it at the time like, no you didn't henry it had sat in a cabinet for like months nobody had touched it Actually, it was more like years that it sat in there and nobody had ever touched it. Yeah, but you don't sell a game no matter what. Under zero circumstances yeah, do you but I ever wanted, sell a game. But but I wanted GameStop credit. Yes, and you want a GameStop credit off of my games. Like, every time I ever bought a game, like, even if I bought it the same fucking year, you're like, Hey, Henry, you want to sell that game? <laughs> like, when I bought freaking Lego Batman, you're like, Hey, Henry, you want to sell that? What? No, not not with Lego Batman. That, yeah, that... I remember distinctly Lego Batman. No, it was never Lego Batman. Um, there was a time where I wanted you to sell Brawl because GameStop was willing to give us 50 bucks for it. Oh, yeah. You but... tried to get me to sell Brawl even though I paid 60 for it. Yeah. By the way, I think Brawl still might be the, like one of the only games that I bought at full price. That Lego Star Wars... Three and I'm trying to think of any other games. Oh yeah, I forgot about Lego Star Wars Three. Which, by the way, I bought that at Target. Just weird the side. Oh, Target. I bought I bought Mario Kart Seven at Target. Oh shit, my guy's got a poop. 
I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just an aside. No, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, I bought it. Uh, I bought it at Target online, and like I did the thing where you can order it online and then pick it up in the store. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I did it that way. It ended up being cheaper, I think, to do it that way. So you know what was funny? I tried to do a thing where I tried to buy the Inside Out soundtrack from Walmart. Why? Because I really like Inside Out soundtrack. You do? I love that movie, Chip. I mean, yeah, the movie's good, but, but I don't... the soundtrack is especially great. I don't remember anything about da, the soundtrack. Da, 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 I, I really da, don't da, remember da. anything about it. I don't it, know. Basically, if it doesn't have screeching... Uh, if it doesn't have screeching electric guitar in it, I usually don't remember it. Yeah, but you usually just don't remember anything. I Your mean, memory is a bit I mean, shy. I'm not going to argue that, but at the same time... There are a lot of soundtracks that I can picture quite vividly in my head. Picture the Cars soundtrack. The only thing I can hear is, Life is a highway, and I want to ride it all night long. Yeah, that's the only thing. No, my favorite song from that soundtrack, though... Yeah, that's the though, only musical part of that whole movie one of I can the remember. Few, one of my favorite parts of that like soundtrack is, Real Gone. Oh, that's from, like, the very beginning of the movie. Yeah, and you know why it's one of my favorites? Because it's at the beginning? Well, no. And we always end up shutting off the movie by the time they start driving on the highway? Because that movie's pretty bad? It's not a good movie. It's a great movie. It's, like, 5, hey, 6 shit. out of 10. Are you very religious? Are you interested in hearing about my religion? What is it? Kerchow. I'm Ker interested. Kerchow? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> have you never seen that yet? No. For some reason, people have taken a picture of Lightning Miss Queen, distorted his face so he doesn't have eyes anymore, and put the word <laughs> Kerchow. Oh, it's one of those distorted images things. Okay. Yeah. It's a distorted image meme. A lot of people are doing those. And it's... That one in particular is actually really funny. I'm always wondering where my distorted Barney memes are. But nobody well, seems to care about nobody Barney. Nobody cares about Barney. Yeah, nobody does. <laughs> and, and we'll leave you to figure out which Barney I'm talking about. Cause there, which one? Because there, there are quite a few popular Barneys in media. We'll, we'll, we'll let you try to figure that out. Uh, Rubble. I will give the audience a hint. <clears throat> it is not from the Flintstones. Yeah, that, that's your one hint. Oh, and also, it's not the stupid guy that was on Andy Griffith. Hey, 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 you will not insult Don Knotts. No, he, his character was literally stupid. That was the joke. You will not insult Don Knotts. No, as in that's the joke of the series, that his character is dumb. Don't insult Don Knotts, Henry. That's I'm not, not insulting cool. him. I'm just describing his character and the best fit manner. Just don't insult Don Knotts. And also, w what was it that Robotnik said the other day? Like, the voice of Robotnik came out on, like, Twitter or something, and, like, said, so, I had a lot of fan requests to say this, so I'm saying it right now. Like, fuck these bitches or something? What was it? What? Yeah, didn't- you were the one who showed me it. It was- a voice recording that Eggman did, like the voice of Eggman from back in the day, he went out. Well, the well the old one's dead, so it's unlikely that he went on Twitter and said anything. No, like I don't know if it's the new one. It was in Eggman at some point. That was one of his things. That well, there's was. only been two. There's the current one and the old one. The current one has been the current one since um, Shadow the Hedgehog. So it's Mac that. Pollock. <laughs> Yeah, it's Mike Pollock went out and he got a bunch of requests online for him to say something like, fuck these bitches, I'm going to shove my egg cock in your robot dick, or something like that. What? It was so weird. I don't remember that, but I remember uh, one of the old Eggman where they, I, don't, I think they edited him in some way, and he says, 
Better luck next time, fuck boy. <laughs> yeah, that's another one too. That was. Pretty I don't remember the other one at all. Yeah, you're the one who showed me though, and I, I just I, still. I, I, weird I don't to remember me. that. I mean, maybe, but I I don't remember. I know Mike Pollock is so cool, and also he is pretty cool. And also, do you remember that one rat he, movie? He, he, that even he though did? he was in Ratatouille, yeah, Ratatouille, he's, he's still pretty cool. No, that makes him even cooler because Ratatouille. But that movie's terrible. Yeah, but he was in Ratatouille. But that movie's terrible, Henry. But it's called Ratatouille. Oops, not yet. Your argument is invalid. But that's a stupid title. <laughs> it's a stupid title. That's why your argument is valid. Because you're talking about a movie Shut called Ratatouille. <laughs> Can you believe she says the house is a pigsty? What a bitch. God. Ratatouille. That movie's so terrible, Henry. There's nothing redeemable about it. Except for the fact that Mike Pollock is in it. Actually, there's quite a few popular voice actors in it. Which is weird, but kind of cool. Also, do you want to make Mom stop playing chess so she can eat? Yeah. I mean, I'll join, but... Fine, I'll get her off chess. Well, I'm already joined. I promise I will get a job soon. Mom! Mom! And so the itsy bitsy spider went back up the water spout, got a real job, found himself a girlfriend, and then started crying heavily as he realized that all of his friends died in the flood again. Oh. That took an unexpectedly dark <laughs> turn. Well, yeah, but all good itsy bitsy spiders end in a dark twist. Okay, so I'm like so close to finishing mech, and then I have creative. like two levels of creative left. And then I've got all these levels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this chip! I've created a valley of sadness. A valley of sadness. Plus cooking. Plus cooking. See, cooking is off on the side of death, and then I have the valley of sadness over there. Cooking is like so easy. All you have to do is read. I know, but I hate reading. All you have to do is read for like two days. I hate reading in this game. It's so slow. I just want to work my body. <laughs> I just want to work my body. <laughs> work it out. Work it out. Think about it. That's one of my favorite parts of that whole soundtrack. soundtrack is the best part of that. Why do you keep leaving your plates in the corner, by the way? <laughs> that's, the, that, that's the second time you've done that. Oh, and look, I'm done with uh, mechanical. Are you done with ratatouille? God damn it. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> the memes are real because it's on the team. Oh my god, Henry, you're getting slap happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's sure one. That... It's one forty, and you're getting slap happy. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably also why you found pizza pasta. <laughs> put it on my dick. <laughs> so funny. Cheesy on my cock, or cheesy on my peony, and sasa for my balls. <laughs> well, of course, I just thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> I like how it ends with balls. Just like, not even like trying there like oh my god yes it didn't refresh so i can play it again yes okay <laughs> cheesy on my peony and some pasta for my balls uh, apparently I got some messages. What's going on? I don't know. Earlier I was getting messages from an unknown number trying to in ask me to engage in cyber sex. Fun. And I kid you not, they used the word cyber sex. You were getting texted by like some 50 year old. Who uses the word 
cyber sex. <laughs> like some 50 year old or some TV station that has no idea. You're probably going to be part of like some CNN investigation or something. Oh god, I hope I am. Because CNN is hilarious. Oh shit, I need to poop. You're not in the bathroom, right? <laughs> oh shit, I need to poop. <laughs> You're not in the bathroom, right? Because my sim is about to Chip. poop. I think Bunny's just giving up on sleep. <laughs> She's like, God damn it, these people. It's because you keep moving her every time she falls asleep. Well, yeah, but I'm I max out all my skills. I'm trying to keep her up so she doesn't like wake up super early and scratch at the door and stuff. Because 11 o'clock is just too darn early. It's not 11, Henry, it's 1. No, I'm talking about t this morning. She was up at like 11, scratching at the door. I was like, dang it, Bunny, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't let her out yet. Yeah, it's time. My skills are done. No, it isn't. Yeah, my skills are full. Okay, well, still don't let her out. But, Henry, we're... we're it's time to, uh... Are you putting a piano in the toilet? There we go. No, I'm making the bonus room into the skills room. Because, like, now that my skills are maxed, we're going to make the house nice. I'm going to get to 100 friendship with mom, and then we're going to move out. And start our magical career journey. Careers. Bunny doggy, she's a little butt. She likes ice cream and also pasta cheese. Bunny, 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 funny, bun. Oh wait, no, Chip. Wouldn't we need to do all? Everybody does all of the careers. Remember? Why? So then we can show off the gnomes at the end. Uh, yeah, but we both unlock them. Because mm -mm. once I. Leave then the get reset. Nope. Once we unlock, it's unlocked. Ooh, yay, bunny. So I always wondered what it would be like to have a tail. A tail. That would be probably uncomfortable. I mean, you could hide yourself, you could hide your shame so much easier. Like Bunny does every time that anybody yells at her. We don't yell at Bunny, we just sternly talk to her. You're right. Dad is the one who yells, like, all the time. The weirdest thing about Dad yelling, too, is that he yells in such a jovial manner. He's all like, God damn it, Bunny! He doesn't realize he's talking loudly. But Bunny's like, he's being scary. He skirt me. Mostly because Bunny's a wimp. Hey, I resent <clears throat> that. She's not a wimp. She's a scared American. A scared of Ken, if you will. <laughs> also, is there a toilet in the bathroom? Oh, I sure hope there is. <laughs> is there a toilet in the pooper? Alright, time to sell the toilet. There we go. Even. Oh, wow, look how much money the bathtub and toilet gave me. Yeah, now you know what you need to buy with it? More chairs. A futon. Why? <laughs> Because why not have a futon? Because they suck. I don't know. I always like futons for their artistic aspects. By artistic aspect, I mean the fact that they're cheap as dirt and you can put them in an artist's house and make it look accurate. Make <laughs> it look accurate. And now the last touch. Bunny Time doggy. to get your leather chair you love. Yes, the worn leather chair. We got the leather chair, and we got this blue chair. All right, cool. Time to become friends with mom. Time to still be asleep for the next eight hours or so. 
Damn it, Mom, why is she cooking? Really, Mom? You cook just for you, you bitch. Rude. Didn't even cook for everyone else. Rude. Also, I forgot to move that lamp back. There we go. So you know what I do? Instead of replacing the bulbs anymore, I just sell the lamp and buy a new one. Like, it's very expensive. It does get expensive, but when you're playing this game and you do what I do, aka am crazy, you, you just don't, you, you don't ever run out of money. Should have cooked food for both of us, Mom, if you wanted to talk. She just wanted the interaction and feels. She should have cooked food for me then. You should just not talk to her for the rest of the game. Just be all like, nope. Mom is never my friend. No, I already got 72 with her. I'm in too deep. Joke, entertain. He's in his mom too. Talk, joke, entertain, joke. Oh gosh, entertain. she did talk? You're gonna be there forever and you're never gonna get any points. Yeah, check this out. Boy. I like how you are barely friends with me. Like, even though I'm living with you. We're platonic pals. Because you opened a tear in my heart, dear baby. Nice. And a tear in my All right, heart, time to get a job. Dear honey. Time to go read the newspaper. Throughout all of the multi Find a job the and multiverse. You always be. Alright, don't click anything. Um, where do we want to go first? Do we go to Mimi's or do we want to go to Dudley's? Dudley's, so then we can get the maid. Alright, so you want to be mad scientist. Um, you can be gangster. Wait, no! You're counterculture and what was the other? Military. Yeah. It's military. Wait, was there seven tracks? Yes. There is seven tracks, that's right. Nice, I unlocked the scooter! You unlocked the scooper spooper. Nice. Let's move Wait, out. No, let's not move out. Let's yeah. save and save that for the next episode because Um, it's gonna save when we move out. We'll just do the house review. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just save right here and We'll see you next time. Hold on. on, let me go up to the scooter. Dragon Ball Z. Alright, we're here. And next episode, we are going to be moving out to Dudley's house. Where Henry will be finishing up his skills. I'll be working. Henry will also be working while finishing up his skills. Whoa. It's going to be one heck of a time. And Whoa. for those of you who actually stuck through to the end, GG. No re. See you next time. Bye. Good luck.